putting your football gear on, having a rub down, smelling this liniment and getting ready to go out to battle with 20 of your mates. I miss the locker room, um, I miss the mateship, I miss the celebrations after you win. At the end of the game, you're in the showers, it's hot. You've been kneed in the back, you know, you've been poked in the eye, you've probably been stitched up. And then you sort of realise that looking at about half an hour, maybe three quarters of an hour, you're going to be in the social club and your heart starts beating, you know. And I think that's the thing I miss most. The change room banter and the uh, horse play and, and that sort of stuff, that's uh, when, you, when you go away from footy, um, you sort of lose that overnight and um, that's, that's the biggest thing. Oh, just the, the sheer challenge of it, you know, to uh, organise your working week so it doesn't interfere with football. <laughs> I miss the team env environment. I think that that's the thing I really probably miss a bit. And sometimes if you're not in the team environment, you don't understand that. The best part of football is when you're not playing it, of course. I mean, you don't need to be a borrowed scholar to work that out. You know those elastic bands that you put around, you know, fruit that you want to preserve, right? They're about that round, right? Well, they used to be our, our, hold our socks up, right? At the end of the game, you, you, you pull your socks up and you have a furrow around your leg about that, like a bloody moat around your leg about that much, which just sort of stopped the blood circulation down to your feet. And you think that was fun, just to start the game off? Just that alone.